Hey friends, today I'm hanging out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm gonna be trying some new food items today. One of them being the strangest combination I think I've ever seen. And also riding rides and enjoying this beautiful park. Anywho's, let's go do this. Looks like we got some gray skies today. Tropical Storm Elsa is making her way up Florida. So hopefully we're gonna avoid the rain and stick to just all these beautiful bubbles. I'll take the bubbles all day long. Give me the bubbles, no rain. <laughs> I think we're gonna start off by grabbing something to eat and I'm gonna get the thing that actually is strange. I think I mentioned it before, it's the strangest combination and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, I have eaten a lot of strange combinations before and I've kind of always enjoyed them. I, you know, I, I shouldn't say they're strange because if they're put together, like, that means that something works, you know what I mean? I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't be selling something that doesn't work. Anywho, let me know in the comments what your like strangest combination thing is that you have tried. I think this actually might be it for me. Right here at the Eight Spoon Cafe, they have a pulled pork jelly donut sandwich. I mean, come on, that is definitely a strange combination, but maybe it tastes very well and I'm here to find out. If you are looking to trying this sandwich, you need to come out a little bit early. It's only available from 10.30 a.m. to 2.30, and it's right across from the Adventurer's Outpost where Mickey and Minnie used to meet in the Animal Kingdom. And like I said, it's, it seems like it's gonna be a fun adventure. And here it is. Look at this. Not only is it a jelly donut, it's a glazed jelly donut. Wow. And then they got the pulled pork and the coleslaw all right on there. And I think that's barbecue sauce as well. Yeah. Oh no, that's the jelly. <laughs> that is the jelly, but it looks like barbecue sauce because that's what you would expect to see. There are other people interested in my sandwich. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. I'm sorry. Um, all right. We're going in for the bite. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy. Mm. That was delightfully delicious. I really wasn't expecting it. Like I said, I can't say that it's weird because it's gotta work. And one thing I noticed, I, bought, I like took a big bite and right in the middle is where the jelly is actually at. So if you take a big bite, you get a big flavor boost with the jelly and the pork and the coleslaw and everything together. I would definitely get this sandwich again. It is a little bit messy though. So make sure you grab lots of napkins and definitely maybe a fork. You can definitely fork this, but I'm gonna take another bite and I'll show you what I mean by it's messy. But what do you guys think? Would you actually try this? I mean, it's totally a brunch item. Now the more I think about it, like chicken and waffles, and it was, it was very delicious. I liked it a lot. You get kind of uh, a taste of everything. So you could taste the donut, you could taste the jelly, you could taste the pork, and it just fits well. Now I think we're gonna move along and I wanna head on over to Rafiki's Planet Watch. I haven't been over there in a while. I like the train ride and also I wouldn't mind petting some animals at the petting zoo. And then we'll hop back over and get something else to eat that's new. I'm hoping the rain is gonna stay at bay, especially so we can enjoy this nice little train ride. And also I don't wanna be petting any animals during a rainstorm. This is another activity that closes early. I think it closes at four o'clock. So sometimes I do miss this a lot. And uh, yeah, today, since we're doing things that close early, it fits perfectly into the plan. Well, looks like we didn't avoid the rain. Holy moly. I don't even know if the train's gonna run right now. The reason the train is facing outwards is because behind us is actually all backstage. So they don't wanna like ruin the magic. So it's kind of a really cool, unique train ride. Oh, that's so awesome. Our friend Andy is actually the conductor today. With domesticated animals like goats, sheep, and more to sneak peeks at animal care in action at our veterinary, nutrition, and science centers. Express, we're gonna be heading to Rafiki's Planet Watch Conservation Station. We ask that for your safety for the duration of the train ride, you kindly please remain fully seated at all times with your hands, arms, feet inside the train at all times, and make sure you're sitting all the way back in your seats. And please do not stand up or move around while the train is in motion. Sit back, relax, and away we go. The tradition of animal adventures we offer here at Disney's Animal Kingdom each and every day. Right 
right on the other side of this scrim is Kilimanjaro Safaris. How awesome is that? You can't see it though. You can't see any animals, but we'll see some backstage animals. Yeah, well, for some of Look at this. We might along the way. Amazing, right? That's the Warthog building right there. That is the lion's like tried rock in the back there. The species we care for here. Oh, there's a gigantic rhino right there. Look at that. You see him? Holy moly. And then there's the elephant house dedicated to the elephant care and conservation. We are now approaching conservation station. Oh, right there he is. You see him? I can't zoom in for you, but he's there. It looks like the rain stopped too. Bet you the animals are going to be wet. I think we really lucked out and the rain stopped. How cool is that? The rain goes on and off like that in Florida. Rafiki will show you the way. Looks like we have made it to the conservation station. Look at it, it's so pretty back here. It reminds me of Claws and Paws. It started raining the second I said that it stopped raining. <laughs> but we found some uh, shelter with some goats and pigs. Come little children. <laughs> I'm trying to get their attention, but it looks like they're eating. So they're happy. We can't cross this blue line, but they're allowed to cross the blue line. We can't cross the blue line. Look, there goes one of them. Breaking the law, breaking the law. <laughs> and look, hi. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them over here. I ran over to the other side. Look at, they're like running around and crossing the bridge. <laughs> oh, I like these ones. Oh, there's another pig right there, too. Oh, look at that pig came right between my legs almost. Sorry. <laughs> hey, friend. Thank you. There we go. That's the way. She's helping me get the, the pets in. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> They're doing their thing. We're gonna head inside though. They do have a lot of cool things inside, but first we have to wash our hands. Gotta wash, 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 wash. That's soap, ah! There we go. <laughs> now we're inside and you can see they have the animation experience in here and you can see a little bit more about the care of the animals. And yeah, it's just nice to get out of the rain for a second. But this is the animation experience right here. And you get to sit down and you can draw some of your favorite characters. I remember doing this at Hollywood Studios. It was really fun. And it's a good spot that they moved it over here because there's nothing else in this building at the moment. I'm not gonna be able to do the animation experience because I won't have time. And plus, I don't know how I would get it out of here without getting it wrinkled or wet. I really don't have anything. I don't bring bags with me. I even struggle when I bring an umbrella. So that's why most of the time I'm stuck in the rain. So I guess it's just back to the train and then back on over into Asia or Africa. That's where we were. Oh yeah, oh look at you're in it now. Now we're gonna head back to Animal Kingdom, like I said, and get something to eat. Uh, we've already had the jelly donut, but I feel like I need to get like a meal meal. And I do know a place that closes early that might have some new things. And right here is where I was talking about we can grab something to eat. Hi friends! I think they're open till 3 o'clock. Now that the rain has stopped, the humidity level is like 100. It is so sticky out. <laughs> That's just one thing about Animal Kingdom. It's always the hottest park. And here it is, the Harambe Market. Looks like they have a nice collection of bowls, kind of like Sultui Canteen. Got a chicken bowl, a hot link bowl, a ribs bowl, and then we got the Simba Cupcake. Now, I was going to get something to eat, but maybe I'll end up just getting the dessert here and then something to eat somewhere else. I think this cupcake's new. The last time I was here, they had the most beautiful dessert, and that was amazing. So, we'll give the cupcake a go. I didn't see anything on the menu that I was too excited for, so that's why I'm just going to get the dessert. I've had the ribs and chicken here before. The hot link is a plant-based uh, hot link, and that probably looks really good, but I think I'll just stick to the cupcake. 
here it is. The Simba Cupcake. It is actually really cute looking. And it looks like it's vanilla. And then there's some kind of orange mousse on there. And probably a filling in the middle. So we'll cut it right down the center. Now I'm not a big cupcake fan. But I always do like trying something new. Most of the time I kind of get let down by the cupcakes. But you never know. I've had some winners in the past. Oh. So it says that it is a yellow cake filled with yummy white chocolate mousse topped with a sweet buttercream and an orange and yellow icing. And I figure we're just gonna cut right down the middle. Poor Simba. I'm gonna move him out of the way though. I don't know how to scoot him. Okay, we'll cut him right through Simba. Oh boy. There we go. Oh, I can see the buttercream right in the center there. Here we go, one big bite, everything all in there. I hope it's good. It is actually very good. It's not too sweet, but I feel like the uh, cupcake itself is kind of like a little dry. I mean, like I said, I'm not a big cupcake eater in the beginning, so I can't give you a good, honest uh, take on this because I normally don't like them, but I would definitely pick the jelly donut pork sandwich over the cupcake. I'm just, like I said, not a big cupcake fan, but it is always fun to try the newest things in the park, so uh, I'll always order one. I'll always get it. I'm gonna make my way over to Expedition Everest. This is one ride I always feel like I need to do whenever I come to Animal Kingdom. And no matter how many times I do it, I always feel like uh, emptiness if I leave the park without doing it. So we're gonna try and see what it's like. It might be a long wait because it was down because of the rain earlier. And uh, if it just opens up, everyone runs over there. So we'll see once we get there. Oh, but take a look, here comes Rafiki and Timon. I love walking by and catching the characters. I always feel like I'm right on time with them. Like, I have such good luck. Or maybe they just actually come on a continuous basis that everyone's that way. But it looks like the line for Expedition Everest seems like a pretty long one. I think we're heading all the way back to Finding Nemo. It says 25 minutes, so it actually might be 25 minutes. This line is one of the fastest moving rides or fastest moving lines I've ever seen. So we'll see. We'll see how long it takes. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is going all the way back here. This is a long, long line. I don't think this is 25 minutes, actually. It's on the other side of the bridge. Oh, my Lord. Something amazing has opened, though. Looks like the single rider line is open. Oh, this is amazing news. This ride is so much fun when you got the single rider option because it's almost always no weight at all. Look at, we're walking right on. Look at. <laughs> and I am pretty much always a single rider, so this is always a benefit for me. And the other day I was at Hollywood Studios, I was talking about doing single rider on Rock and Roller Coaster and Smuggler's Run. This is the other ride and then Test Track. So there's only four single rider lines in Walt Disney World. You gotta take advantage of them when you can. We're not gonna lose our hat this time. Looks like I am in number 12. Fancy that. The only bad side to single riders, you can't pick front row or back row, but I'm happy not to wait the line, and I'm definitely taking the hat off. Don't wanna lose it, I just got this baby back. Ooh, oh, it's raining! Oh, a rainy ride on Expedition Everest!
fun. And it was still raining. It actually is like drizzling still right now. But I'm happy the single rider line is open again. I mean, it just saves so much time. I love it. It's so funny seeing people seek shelter underneath the big dinosaur. <laughs> it's a good place to get out of the rain. Oh, in fact, the games are still open. I was going to go see about playing some of the games over in Dino Land, but the rain is really coming down. I think we used up all of our non-rain tickets here because it's definitely, uh, it's definitely time. So I think we'll start making our way outside the park. Oh yeah, this is it. <laughs> I'm happy we had fun like we did so far. Maybe we'll stop inside the gift shop and see what new items they have. Look at that rain though. Holy moly. The only thing that's keeping the camera dry is my trusty hat. I am a soaked street rat right now. I don't mind though. Like I said, it's not that big of a deal. I get wet every day and it's been raining every single day. Just in the afternoon. Today it just seemed like it kept on raining on and off, on and off. So that was really strange. I always like to check the magic bands and pins at Animal Kingdom because they always have a good collection. Like look at this orange board uh, pop right here. That is really awesome. And then they've got some limited edition ones back there. The Rockets here. Oh wow, they have some really good pins in here actually. Ooh, they even have some of the Loki Show pins. Like a timeline one. This is really awesome. The pins were really cool, but I think I found something a little bit cooler. Take a look at this new magic band for the Jungle Cruise. You got the rock and Emily Blunt on there. It even has the snake in the tree. That is really cool. Oh, and they're actually on the band itself. This is limited edition 2000, and I think this is really cool. Disney's Jungle Cruise. And with that, I think I am done here today. My glasses are all fogged up, can't see a thing. But I had a lot of fun even though it rained, and the uh, jelly donut sandwich was phenomenal. The cupcake was, you know, it was a cupcake, and I just overall had fun coming out and trying new things. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Oh, and I actually bought the Jungle Cruise Magic Band. It'll go nice with my Corella one. So, bye.